Jumping off the porch like mom's not home Tell me why the best things feel so wrong Summer nights, love them how they take so long So this is from Eva Lou. Hi Josh, me again. Oh yeah, I think I've had a question from you before. You just, I just hit 1 million views. Thank you. Um, I hope it's not too late, but I was wondering if you have any advice for deferred students. Uh, cool. That's rough. Speaking as a deferred student. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we do have a deferred yeah. student. I was just flat out rejected from Stanford. I didn't get yeah. deferred. So. I, I applied early to Princeton and was deferred. <coughs> um, and I didn't write a letter of, what's it? I can't remember. It's like a letter of intent or something. Yeah. To tell them that you're still interested. That's an option. I don't know how much it um, really? will really do for yeah. you. Um, I think the number one thing is just like explore other options um, and don't get hung up on it because like college admissions, what each college is looking for is wildly different. Um, I got into some schools and didn't get into others. Um, my application was the same and some yeah. schools that I got into were more competitive than others that I didn't. So at the end of the day, um, don't worry about it. Like if you get in, cool. If you were deferred, like obviously not ideal, but like even just a deferral is really cool. I yeah. Think. Um, yeah, just try to get excited about other opportunities that you have because if you're deferred, you've definitely got other opportunities. So try yeah. to focus on the um, successes and like the exciting stuff in the future rather than getting hung up on a deferral. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it and like worrying about it isn't going to help you at all. So yeah. yeah. A Kragalim. These names, guys, come on. It's um, tricky. What has inspired you to pursue your major? By the way, I appreciate the advice given on your channel. Enjoy the videos. Thank you. Um, in terms of what inspired me to pursue my major, I don't know. I've always been like really interested in like math and science and stuff. Uh, I fell in love with physics in high school, physics and calculus. Um, I took a CS class my senior year. I started teaching myself CS and really thought that that was a great way to apply all the math and stuff I'd learned. And I didn't want to give up physics too soon, so I I doing engineering too. But uh, that's that's what inspired me. What about you, Henderson? Um, I took a philosophy class my senior year of high school while I was dual enrolled at a local university, uh, FGCU, Dunk City, go Eagles. Um, <laughs> but I just really enjoyed the material. Um, I felt like I was pretty good at it starting off. Um, I thought it was valuable work that like philosophical answers or, or questions and things like that are yeah. not like some people think they're like kind of a hokey waste of time but I think it develops like important skills um, so I was thinking down the road like what's the value of the process that you go through like mm -hmm. doing math there's a I guess a certain way of thinking that you adopt and the same thing is true for a lot of different um, areas of study so I like the the challenge posed by philosophy yeah I mean I feel like philosophy is one of those like stereotypical like useless majors yeah, like you're college. gonna be unemployed after you graduate yeah, yeah. but no <laughs> no I don't like I I don't know I was always kind of like I've always been a stem guy so when it comes to like humanities and stuff I kind of just like brush it away but like since I've gotten here being a stem guy in a liberal arts school and just being exposed to everything has really like opened my mind to like like listening to my roommate Jake go off about like philosophy and like monads and like <laughs> what makes a thing a thing yeah and just all this like free like he'll just come up to me and be like what are your thoughts on free will you know like all that <laughs> stuff like it's yeah although like it it makes you think in it a does. really interesting way yeah it definitely you have to kind of bend your mind a little bit to grasp the concepts which i think is a, a cool thing yeah and it has like a lot of like uh connections with like math and stuff too yeah like, like in my linear algebra class we'll like take like basic axioms and like build upon them and right you do the same thing in philosophy exactly right? so it's good for building logical thinking um yeah. critical analysis of arguments things like that so yeah for sure it's all about transferable skills baby it's the name of the game nowadays <laughs> oh i guess on the other one what do you want to do after Ooh, what do I want to do? That's a very good question. Yeah. Um, I think I'm trying to get an internship in Washington, D.C. this summer. Um, nice. So maybe something associated with policy, um, foreign relations are both subjects of interest. Awesome. Um, but I'm not quite as sold right now. Maybe I just have to join Air Force ROTC so I know I'll have a job when I graduate. Hey, we want you. Oh, dude. You guys have to wake up at 5.30 in the morning. That's not too bad. It's tough to overcome. It's all right. It's a nice picture. That's a nice picture of a beach. Thank you for that. That's very scenic. I like Um, that. So we got two last, or no, three, yeah, three videos. Three videos. All right, let's assume the, position. assume the position. Henderson's face is in the background so he can react. This is from Frank Davis. Hey Josh, I mean, I know it's two days late. I love your videos, by the way. But I just wanted to ask, if you're talking to Yale, how much would they say an average student pay? 
Would they say an average student pays? pays for tuition? Yeah, I assume you're asking about tuition. I don't know. I don't feel comfortable <laughs> answering this question. No, because it, it, it depends on like your family's income. One thing I will say is that Yale has like very generous like financial aid. Yeah, um, and if you get financial aid from Yale and you get offers from other schools and your financial aid is higher at other schools, then you can tell Yale that other schools are going to give you more money and then they'll generally match that or better. Um, yeah. So you can haggle with them. Uh, Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So it, it, yeah. it depends like so widely that it's hard to get, you, you can't get one concrete answer. Yeah. For me, I mean, if I had one tip of advice, like when it comes to like, if you're worried about paying for college, just apply to as many scholarships as possible. Yes. That's, that's the way to go. That's what I did. And it worked out pretty well. Um, just scholarships, scholarships, scholarships. It's really, it's kind of like burns you out. Like mm -hmm. when you're just kind of doing college applications again in like February and March, just for scholarships, but it's, so it's worth, worth it. it in the yeah. end. Hey Josh, my name is Arishi and I'm from Austin, Texas. And I was wondering what the political climate is like at Yale and like if there's a lot of controversy surrounding it or anything. Um, and yeah, thank you for like everything that you do. I really enjoy watching your videos and your life at Yale. So yeah, thanks. Awesome, good question. Thank you, thank you for all the support. Yeah. Um, political climate. Huh. It's uh, it's definitely an active sphere on campus. The yeah. Yale Political Union has a lot of parties. Um, they <laughs> represent very diverse political yeah. um, stances, ideas. Um, so, in one word, the political climate I think is lively. Lively, vibrant. One vibrant. Might say. That's the perfect way to describe it. Um, um, there's yeah. no one pervading ideology. I think it's like it's a progressive university for sure. Um, and you can sort of sense that being on campus. Mm -hmm. um, but no matter where you are politically, like what your beliefs are, um, anyone is willing to talk about them. Um, so yeah. there's definitely a lot of dialogue that goes on uh, regarding sure. political topics. So it's definitely a good place to be if you're interested in politics because mm -hmm. there are a lot, of, uh, a lot of views, a lot of perspectives that you might not be exposed to otherwise. Yeah, for sure. Oh. Hey, <laughs> what was it? It was just him watching my videos. Oh, okay. So okay, just... let's see if he has a question. Oh. Oh, he just wanted me to show that video on the Q and A. Well, oh. shout out that dude. Well, yeah, heck yeah, we did. Oh. All right. Uh, one, somebody asked about says that they they are want to do Air Force RTC. They're from San Diego. This is Evan Gold, Ooh. right? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I I will not be talking about Air Force RTC in this video, but. I will in a future video with uh, another one of our friends, Tommy. You Tommy see Johnson, Air Force ROTC superstar. Yeah. Oh man. Right. You've seen him. You've seen him in some of the other videos, you know. And uh, he will. He will be making an appearance. He's a treasure. Oh, what a guy. <laughs> Anne Marie Velasco asking about gap years. Tons of Yaleys take gap years. Yeah, very popular. People like to get cool, interesting experiences uh, before they go off to school. I think it's a really good idea. Yeah. Um, sometimes you need just a year off to maybe work. Mm -hmm. um, just get a little bit more time outside of school before you get back to studying. Yeah, for sure. One of my guys on my floor, Owen, you've probably seen him in some other videos. He's the cool engineering guy that like built the theremin from scratch. What? That's so sick. Yeah, he actually spent a year in Ireland making hand, like making his own violin, like in Ireland, just spending a year making a violin. That sounds like a spiritually enlightening experience. Like, and now he's here. So. He I, obviously, if you take gap years, you will build theremins by your own volition. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. That's awesome. So gap years, get two yeah. thumbs up. Yeah. I mean, we didn't do it, but... No, no. It's, but it's, it's sounds, a lot of people do it. Yeah. From what I've heard, it sounds like a good idea. Would I trade... So this is a question from uh, Abhijit Vempati. Mm -hmm. Shout out to you. Thank you. Um, uh, would you trade your experience to spend it at Stanford? No. Now that you're here, like... No, I'm here. I love it here. Like, I'm sure I would love it at Stanford, too. I'm sure I would love it at Georgia Tech, but I'm right. here. And, uh, no, I wouldn't trade it for anything. So this is from Ananda the Wanderer. Ooh. What kind of camera do you use for your videos? I will tell you that I use a Canon 70D with a Rode Video Mic Go. And I'm filming on a 10-18 to wide-angle lens right now, all Canon. Links are in the description. Go check it out if you're curious. Pretty dope gear. Oh my god, everyone's asking me for the physics piece set, and I haven't finished it yet. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so do that. So this is a question from Bradium518. Hi, I love your videos. Thank you. Uh, found your channel almost a year ago. I've only been doing this for like seven months, so... You might have the wrong Josh Beasley. Yeah, that might be another Josh Beasley, but you're asking, uh, what's your opinion on theoretical physics? 
and what's the best school for it? Uh, I have no idea. I know that Yale has a pretty good physics program. I know yeah. some physics majors. I don't know about theoretical physics, but uh, I, I can't, I'm not the person to ask. The internet probably the internet, have yeah. answers. We're not the internet. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. That's your theoretical physics question. <laughs> when are you and Jake going to hypnotize Kingery? Yo, we hypnotize Kingery quite often. <laughs> Maybe we'll catch it on video sometime. You guys hypnotize... Who's Kingery? He's one of our sweetmates. You hypnotize him? No, we, we hypnotized our dean in a video for a magic show. What? And, uh, yeah, now people just think we can hypnotize people all the time. Well, you can. I mean, we, yeah, of course. It, we can. it happens all the time. Of course we can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But well, can we really? Well, no. wake, wake, not, not. Yeah. 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 Yes. We hypnotize Kingery. Who wakes up earlier in the morning, me or Jake? <laughs> uh, I definitely wake up earlier in the morning. RTC. Uh, yeah. Uh, Jake has workouts, but they're at like seven. Like what? That's chump change, dude. That's not what, fun. Is he gonna sleep in any later? Um, don't waste the day away in bed. Yeah. You gotta start early. Start early. Start hey. In early. late. Right. Start. Or be the if first. If you're not one getting three last... hours of sleep every night, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah I mean, people yeah. say you know your health takes a toll if you get less than seven every night, but that's a bunch of baloney. Yeah, T Henderson hasn't slept in weeks. I forgot how to. Yeah, he just lives on five hour energy now. Mix yeah. it in with a little Red Bull every once in a while. Yeah, I think I'm developing cataracts from not closing my eyes. I haven't been blinking, too. But um, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, he's still productive, right? I've been showing up to class. Even if unconscious at points. Oh, here is a great question. Uh, this is from Flames and Berries. Hmm. It's the tag, no name. Okay, she's asking about. I know that in a few of your videos you talked about how you and your family were moving around a lot because of the dad being in the military. Hmm. And I was wondering if you think that affected your college app process, whether it be changing schools, extracurriculars, because she has moved around her entire life. Yeah. She's a junior and she's in her third high school. That. That's a rough. Really good question. I was I had to go to two high schools. Yeah. How many did you go to? I made it um, to high school in one poll. So oh. I mean, I had all four years in one place, which lucky, is lucky. very uncommon for yeah. military kids. Because I've known a lot of people. Two high schools is like the, the bare minimum. Mm -hmm. Usually three and four is pretty common. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it definitely does change your application. For sure. Because uh, well, your application is supposed to reflect a significant experience that you've had. Yeah. So living in that many places um, is definitely tough. And it's definitely an interesting experience um, in the sense that you learn a lot from it mm -hmm. and you grow a lot from it. So yeah. I think it changes your application for the better because it gives you a lot to talk about. Um, you can't help but, I think, have some interesting experiences growing up in that yeah, environment. Um, and you have to overcome adversity um, and get good at a lot of different things um, in order to be able to cope with that. So it yeah. does change your application but for the better. Yeah, I mean, Henderson didn't mention this, but he was an army brat. It's true, yeah, yeah. I grew up. Henderson and I, like, we had pretty similar upbringings. I would say so, yeah. I've got Except to... you got to live in some better places. Oh, oh you guys were, oh, you were Air Force, right? Yeah. Yeah, the Air Force, they all have golf courses on them. It's like living on a resort. We were stuck in Lawton, Oklahoma. Sorry if there are any people from yes. Oklahoma. Yeah. It's very dry out there. It though. is. Uh, I, yeah. I mean, I, I spent some time in Oklahoma, like, when I lived in Texas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's... Yeah, so, moving around, it gives you a lot of interesting experiences. I mean, I wrote my college essay about moving around. Mm -hmm. um, or, First like, the I. effect of yeah. moving around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Military kids. Um, yeah. I hope that answered your question. Hey, Josh, how, how are you doing? doing? I'm doing pretty good, Eduardo. That's a good question. How are um, you doing? Doing all right? I guess you're worried about this physics piece. Yeah, I got a do. physics piece at due. It is 347. <laughs> I got a physics piece at due at 5. And so, it, am I it, doing well? Is it complete? The B set? Uh, uh, maybe not as much. No. Uh, yeah. uh, we'll see. We'll see. It's just it's just electromagnetism, right? <laughs> what is this child play? Yeah, we're just integrating over continuous charge distribution. It's oh, a joke. Please. It's a joke. You can do that in your sleep. I know. So I think that about wraps up the Q and A. Uh, me and uh, me and Henderson over here have had a lot of fun answering your questions. It's been an absolute ball, you guys. Normally people don't ask me things because I don't know very much. But thanks for letting me be a part of them. I'm, I'm happy you're here, bud. Dude, thanks for letting me step in and uh, yeah. hang out with you. Yeah, if you want, if you want Henderson back, um, maybe, maybe an interview, I don't know. I mean, if you want him back, definitely, definitely comment below. Let us know what you want me to make like Henderson do, because uh, yes. he seems pretty willing to do anything at this I point. I will do anything for views. Anything. So, <laughs> whatever you have, I am putty in your hands, Josh. Okay, that's good stuff. Yeah, so comment down below what you thought. Uh, anything you want to say to me and Henderson, any other like short questions you have, um, or if you just want to say hi, uh, hi. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Yes. Especially if you're new. Uh, hit the bell button if you want to be notified. Uh, Whenever you produce sweet new tent, uh, yeah. that's an industry word for content. Yeah, yeah. tent. Tent. We're, we're, we're all here for the tent. We're all about the tent for you. We're creating. Mm -hmm. It's good stuff. Oh yeah, hit the bell button if you want to join the notification squad. Um, the notification squad is pretty, it's pretty strong on the channel. Oh yeah. Um, you definitely want to be a part of it, so hit that bell so you'll know. Um, like the video, comment. I think we hit everything, right? That's it, dude. Um, so I think we can just end the video now. Goodbye. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. Um, hopefully I'll be back again in a couple days with another video. So now I will put my hand over the lens and we'll end this video.